さんこんにちは。久しぶり。久しぶりですね。座りますか。いいですよ。うん、はい。Hello everyone, my name is Damiano. I'm from Italy, but I've been living in Japan for more than three years now. And today we are in the、uh, Monza Nakacho area. So we are going for a tour today, and I'm really、uh, looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Yuki. I'm originally from Tottori Prefecture, and I've been living in Tokyo for more than 10 years. And Monza Nakacho is one of my favorite spots, very historical site. So I'm very excited to stroll around with Damiano. So, we are in the Monza Nakacho area, as we said before,、uh, which is also known as Monnaka. And it's actually a temple area、uh, that was built on a sandbar, so the sea used to be here.、Uh, it's famous basically because of its akaya,、uh, type of traditional Japanese bars, but also for some cultural sites, such as the Tomioka Hachimangu Shrine and also the Fukagawa Fudomyo, which is actually an affiliate temple to the big. Uh, Narita san Temple in Chiba Prefecture. Actually, there used to be a huge temple called Eitaiji in Edo period. It includes the land of Fukagawa Park or the Narita san Fudo area. After the Meiji Restoration, the compound really gets small. Now, people visit those two s h r i n e and temple and pray for the traffic safety. It's really nice spot to visit. Monnaka area is more localish and seems more down to earth. And also, it's just one station from Kiyosumi Shirakawa, so it's very nice to stroll around. So, I highly recommend you to visit both places together. This is not an area where you know, foreigners、uh, come、mm-hmm. when they visit Tokyo, so maybe this is the chance to、yeah. show you something different. Yeah, you can feel the Edo atmosphere. We will see some traditional stuff. Yay, excited! <laughs> okay, so are you ready to go, Damiano? I'm ready. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready, guys? So, we should go? Yeah. k i k i m a s h o Good to go. お腹すいた、ね、何食べる今日どうしようやっぱ深川飯食べたいなんかセンターポイントしてくださいせーの富岡八幡宮 It's not a trip to Monnaka without visiting this shrine This is the largest Hachiman shrine from the Edo period with a 400 years history. It is also known as the first of Kanjin Zumo ritual, the origin of the current professional small sport. Here you can also find this huge golden mikoshi. Which is the largest portable shrine in Japan and is carried in Fukugawa Hachiman Festival, one of the three great festivals of the Yedo period. Also, since the area used to be fisherman's base, people often visit the shrine for luck and safety during fishing. It's time for lunch! And we're at the famous restaurant Fukagawa Juku, located in the Tomioka Hachimangu Shrine compound right next to the huge Tori Gate. The outdoor seats are super relaxing. Here, you can feel the wind blowing while resting under the tree's shadow. Next to where we sit is the Ino Tadataka statue, an astronomer of the Edo period who first completed the entire map of Japan and used to visit this shrine very often. I chose a local famous Fukagawa meal, and Damiano chose another Japanese traditional dish. By the way, Fukugawa meal is a dish that originates from fishermen's tradition and made by fresh clams caught in Tokyo Bay with special miso over steamed rice. A Monaka must try dish. Okay, let's 
ごちそうさまでしたよし行きましょう It was really delicious, just like how I expected it. All right, let's move to the next spot. こう二回目ここ入るのは何回か来ました？一回ぐらい。一回ぐらい。中は入ってないですよね。入ってないですね。成田山深川不動堂。成田山深川不動堂 temple is undoubtedly Monaka's highlight. It was established in 1703 as a branch temple of Narita San Shinshoji Temple. You might be surprised by the unique space synchronizing the hypermodern building covered with Sanskrit letters and the authentic traditional wooden main hall, which is the oldest in Kota Ward. I wanna be clever, and I have bad cake. <laughs> This temple's highlight is the Goma fire ritual. When you can bite a wooden stick called Gomagi, write your name on it, and let the monks burn it to make your wish come true. There are also other various types of omamori that can be found here for traffic safety or success in business, and so on. One of the other things that you must check out when coming to Monaka is to walk around the local shopping street leading to Narita San Fukagawa Fudoto Temple. Compared to the other famous nostalgic streets of Tokyo, this one is pretty small, but still, there are a lot of shops, mostly vintage ones, that can be found here. You will find a fancy cafe called Monzu Cafe here too. It is said that the place the cafe is currently located used to be a Japanese sweets shop that opened in 1868, the first year of the Meiji era. <laughs> Although this is a narrow alley, this small district is just about less than a minute walking from the station and is packed with different options of retro izakaya restaurants that retain the Showa atmosphere. It looked so peaceful when we visited it, but before Corona, it was crowded with customers drinking and talking, all happily, just like a scene in a nostalgic Japanese movie. It is kind of refreshing to see this type of scenery in the modern days, isn't it? Oh, Yuki, that was quite a tour, right? Yeah. Maybe we should sit down again? Yeah, so tired, but it was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> So what did you like about today's tour? Oh, yeah, th actually this was my second time to visit Monzen Nakacho. Last time I couldn't try the local speciality called okay. Fukagawa Meshi. So today I could do it. That was so tasty and the atmosphere is so nice, nostalgic. So yeah, I really love that. Okay. How about you? Uh, I really like the last place, the Tatsumi mm -hmm. Shindo, because I came to Monzen Nakacho before, but I totally didn't know about 
this Showa period little street, mm. uh, you know, it's always nice to find some new corners, even though I live in Tokyo for some years. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was really cool to see a nice surprise. We should do it again. We should yeah, show other places is. here in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So, everyone, how was Monzo Nakacho? How do you like it? Please be sure to let us know here in the comments below uh, yep. where you want to go or just some impression mm -hmm. about today. And maybe you can let us know which place you want to visit next. Give us your request. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. And we hope to see you again in our next adventure here in Tokyo. Yeah. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.